Hey guys, and welcome back to Desert Strike. When we last left off, we did the first mission, which was uh, fairly easy. Now, um, we're actually starting the second mission here soon, but I want to have a look. I don't know why I can't get Jake. Um, near a plane crash, rescue him, and you have a crack gunner and a superb winchman. He also knows the best places for R&R. &R. He does indeed, but for some reason we can't select him, which is interesting. So we're going to roll with Ozzy again, because she's the best we can have, so we shall take her. Fair enough. Um, right. Well, let's get into it. The agent you rescued told us where a group of political prisoners are being held and where a POW camp is located. He also said there are some mobile scud launchers and chemical weapon plants in the area. So, here are your missions. Okay. Destroy the radar sites. Rescue the political prisoners from three jails. Destroy the power station. Destroy the chemical plant. Capture Scud Commanders and destroy their launchers. Rescue POWs from the camp. Now, this mission is a bit of an ask because, well, if we don't if we don't um, succeed at destroying the Scuds at the right time, or within the time limit, very strict time limit, we insta-fail. I think we can miss two of them. But uh, as before, the radar sites, these enemy radars cover the towns and jails in this section. Uh, in this sector. Enemy defences are strong with active radars. Yeah, this one's a bit of a pain. Um, we have Scud Commanders, which we're not going to worry about. We do have MIAs here. Only a few, though. There's only four. Um, which isn't a huge problem. But we do have ZSUs. Yes! ZSUs. These things are pretty gnarly. Um, they have 150 armour. 150 armor is very important in strike games because it uh, became known at the time as the one-two punch to take these bastards out. So what you do, you uh, set them up, you punch them with a hellfire, and then you finish them off with two hydras. That's the most efficient way of uh, doing these guys in. So 150 armor, one-two punch. The ZSU uh, is a mobile, well-armed beast. Its rapid fire and fast guns can waste you in seconds, so don't sit around watching it. Mm-hmm. So that's what we've got to do. Um, there are a few of these dotted around. They're not really as dangerous as the game makes them out to be. Uh, and I'm going to put on my turbo fire. If I can remember how it's done. There we go. Okay, so you push the button down, you push the star... And then you release the star button. Got ya. Now, interesting with this game. Over the sea, you don't run out of fuel. Not sure why, but that's just the way it is. There is less ammo and fuel on this mission. There is still plenty, but there's definitely left. Uh, left? Less. So, there should be an S. Ooh. I always called these things Zeus's. Um, there should be one there. There's always one there. But that's fine. We can waste him now. Um, not really important to waste that guy, but, you know, for good measure. Now, this one will be armed with an AA gun and a rapier on the other side. So watch out for that. Never, never, never feel afraid to use a hellfire on a rapier because those things, they hurt. You can piss off, pal. See you there, hiding in the bushes like a damn pervert. Wasted his ass. Oh, look, a VDA. VDA gone. Uh, we don't want to pick up the MIAs yet because, as I said, they're basically free armor repairs. So you want to have those around for as long as you can. Right, let's scope this radar out. So we've got one looking at us. We want to creep in behind it, really. There's that one gone. There's that one gone. He got a cheeky shot off at us, which I'm not happy about, but never mind. Right, mission one complete. Okay, not bad. Jailbreak. This level's a bit of a tough cookie. Jailbreak in towns. Armor, 150. Three towns are under siege from enemy forces. Destroy the enemy, then rescue at least ten political prisoners from the jails and fly them to the landing zones. Well, alrighty then. Now, there is somewhere, I'm pretty sure anyway, a downed pilot on this level. Um, but I can't quite remember where it is. So, I might have to 
come back and get it. There's also a quick winch on this level somewhere. I can't remember where he is either. Uh, open up as many buildings as you can because there's some good supplies uh, loaded in these. Now, unfortunately, our pilot decided to prioritize Ah, see that? See that flash there? That means there's someone inside. So we're going to blow that open. We've got some fuel there, which is nice. All right, let's open these up. Now, unfortunately, yeah, that does happen where your pilot uh, will decide to shoot the wrong uh, thing. Um, so you've got a dangerous target and a not so dangerous target. But hey, let's go waste that. Now, I was just about to say these SUZs or these Zeuses, whatever you want to call them, do start appearing. Uh, actually, we've got a load of four. So now, I, yeah, he should actually show up now. He will show up now. Good. Um, so if we look at the fuel situation, um, there's only a few fuel crates. But as you uncover more, they will actually show up on the radar. But they'll only show up on the radar when they're uncovered. This does become very problematic in the last two levels especially in the final level where there's really not a lot of supplies at all okay all right let's go drop these guys off and one second guys my phone is going because of course it is and we're back sorry about that guys right okay we might as well scoop up some fuel whilst we're here because why not now the good thing about this mission is it doesn't matter how much damage you really take as long as you don't get destroyed because we can just continuously refuel uh, uh well refuel our armor yes we can continuously refuel our smart armor there's an mia there but we don't want to pick him up because we need to have as much uh, carrying capacity as we can Okay, cool. Let's have a little look in here. Now, the quick winch, I do believe, is around here somewhere. I can't remember where the pilot is. If they... Ah, look, another MIA. Let's waste him. Uh, there is a quick winch around here, but I'm pretty sure it's fairly easy to find. And we're not getting in trouble for destroying these buildings either, which is nice. All right, let's... Oh, dear. That was stupid. I actually rammed that building. Right, well, he's facing that way, so he's easy to waste. Now, as soon as we start picking guys up, we will... That sounds wrong. Yeah, as soon as we start picking guys up, um, there will be enemies spawning, and we're getting capped by something up here. Ah, it's VDA. That's fine. Fuck the VDA. VDA is not really important. Right. Let's waste you and you. Okay, now look at this guy here. This means we can't actually destroy this building because there is an MIA on top. So we'll leave him there for now. There's another one there. As long as fuel and supplies allow, we will pick all these guys up because we're nice. And we don't want to leave people behind. Now, I think this one comes from either the, yeah, the side. I thought it was the side. Right, we're taking some serious hits there. But again, it doesn't matter because we're going to get loads of armor repairs. Uh, oh, we really did take a bit of a knock on the chin, didn't we? Jeez, okay, so load of four. Um, nah, we'll be fine. We'll leave the MIAs just in case we need them. We have so many people to save on this mission that we really don't need to worry too much about armor. Fuel's a bit of a different matter. What's in here? Ammo. Well, that's cool. It's always good to uncover a bit of ammo because uh, we're going to need it. Now, there's a Bradley APC down here. Funny enough, this Bradley is like bigger than our helicopter. So uh, I don't think it really is to scale. I think they got the scale slightly wrong. I mean, that thing looks ginormous. Um, I always thought that the... the uh, LZ here looked really cool as a kid. I really did like that. Just because um, I used to just enjoy seeing all the models in this game. Actually, now nah, we're not going to pick you up. We will, but not yet. I'm going to leave you there, buddy. Don't worry, we'll be back for you. Now, is there any... Yeah, there's one down here. So if we go round him, we come up behind and waste his ass. Right, what's in here before we do that? Yeah, more ammo. As you can see, the ammo that we're uncovering does start getting added to the map. Ammo's cool. 
It really is, <clears throat> but I'd rather be adding fuel. Ooh. That's never a nice sound when you go to fire your hellfires and you hear a click. That's bad. Right, let's keep opening this place up. See if we can uncover any other juicy secrets. Now, some of these uh, buildings, I believe, are civilian. In which case, you do get in trouble. You get in trouble because you're not allowed to destroy civilian buildings. At least that's the official line. But I guess we live outside the rules here. Unless these just straight up are all enemy buildings, which makes about as much sense as this game, to be honest. Right, let's pick up this fuel. Haven't managed to get the quick winch yet. I can't remember where that is, but... Oof. We will try and get it. In a minute. I'm pretty sure... Oh, fuck. We just actually killed someone. Ooh! Pain, pain. There we go. That's fine. How much damage do we take? Yeah, those things are savage. Absolutely savage. That was lucky, actually. Because if we had... Oh, we really need ammo. <laughs> we really need ammo. If we'd killed, like, one more um, guy, we would have failed that and got into a little bit of trouble. So we got three dudes on board. That's fine. Um, there should... Oh, look, there's a little AA gun here. Let's pop him. And now, where was the... Yeah, it's over there. That's fine. Right, let's... Ooh, please do not shoot that. Yeah, it's frustrating sometimes if you're trying to aim at something that you don't want to destroy. We don't care about that person running around. Oh, that's a civilian building. You see, we actually we lose points for destroying civilian buildings, but um, without playing the game over and over and over again it's very difficult to know there's an armor repair there that's nice one two and we've got that rapier up there that's checking us out he's gone good night sir it's more fuel but that's uh, not really what we want we don't want fuel not now hmm quick winch where are they on the next level, the quick winch is really easy to find. Uh, let's go for MIAs. Let's go scoop this one up. Just so we've got a few. I suppose we could go repair our armor, actually. Let's go grab this dude and go drop him off. Yeah, also, the, the Scud Commander guys that we have to pick up a little bit later on, they also give us uh, armor repairs because everybody you do Apart from your co-pilot, of course, because you don't drop your co-pilot off. That would be silly. Alright, so next on the agenda, I believe, is the power station. Yeah, this one's a little bit more defended than the last one. Or maybe it's not more defended, but it's a little bit trickier. Yeah, look at that alert zone there. You can see just how much these guys rattle off rounds at you. Alright, start opening these up. It's another armor repair there, which is quite good. Ooh. Apparently, that's an alert zone too. Right, how much armor did that... That guy did 150 points of damage to us because he's in an alert zone. That's just a taste of how deadly they are. And that was just a, a normal grunt. The rocket launcher. There's more fuel there. That's fine. Hmm. Really would like that quick winch. We're almost out of fuel again. This is a bit of a bastard. Yeah, this guy's just completely surrounded by dudes with rocket launchers. Now, oh, hello. Why are you here? All on your own. Seems a bit weird. Do you have anything around apart from ammo? I mean, ammo's cool. But we don't need ammo. What about fuel? We're going to need fuel soon. Yeah, there's some fuel over here. Yes, yes. Well, we'll scoop this up whilst we're here. And you know what, buddy? You can come along for the ride as well. Just whilst we're around the area. Um, that gives us a load of one. Which is fine. Uh, ammo is actually fine. Now, the only thing I hate about this one is it is almost impossible 
to kill that guy. There we go, he's gone. These two aren't too bad. What about our armor? Our armor is wasted, so let's go grab this armor repair, because we can, basically. Uh, chemical weapons plan. The madman plans to arm his scuds with chemical weapons. Destroy this plant to prevent the use of chemical weapons. Alright. It shall be done. Now, we've explored this place pretty thoroughly, actually. We still haven't found... Um, where we need to go. Now, this chemical plant is protected by uh, VUDs, I believe. Uh, quite a few of them. Especially as we start blowing it up, they start turning up. Which is bad. And the sheer quantity of them, which means we need to be a little bit careful of how much ammo we have. We've got plenty. We're not going to be precious with our ammo. We're not at that level yet. Uh, you know what, buddy. Get on. Whilst we're here, whilst we know you're there, whilst we're thinking about you, get on board. Uh, cool. All right, let's approach. Now, does it say, oh, might as well scoop you up as well. Because, again, why not? Yank. Um, you can destroy these rocks as well, these big rocks. They take a lot of shots, but you can destroy them. You can also bump into them like that, which is frustrating. And you can see that we are also targeting the rock and not the soldier there. So, haha, <laughs> yeah, bit of an issue. Get out of here. Luckily, this is lightly defended so far. Let's open up these, which is going to leak all of this delicious green goodness into the atmosphere, which I'm sure Mother Nature is going to be uh, very appreciative of. You know, um, I always thought that was funny. Or maybe funny's not the right word. I always thought that was silly. The fact that we literally um, are pumping these toxins into the bloody atmosphere. Like, no shit's given whatsoever. But then I suppose better that than them being sprayed in our face. Right, we need ammo. And we now need to do the Scud Commanders. Scud Commanders are bastards. Because each commander will show us where one Scud Launcher is. Which, you know, that's not bad. Oh, actually, I'm sure this guy has the quick winch. No. I know he's in a building. And I'm sure... Let's go waste a little bit of fuel here. I was sure he was around here. You know what, whilst we're here, we can waste this guy. This is where the scud commanders are hiding. So we can go pick this guy. Oh, God, there's something nasty. There we go. I've got the location of a Scud launcher from this commander. Check your map. Yeah, Scud is down below us. These things are nasty. And now, whenever you pop these buildings, you will spawn uh, an enemy. Uh, it can literally be anything. For a, Well, it's not. It's actually a set uh, enemy. But it... It's kind of random. Each one, I think, gets protected by different things. So, scuds. Best way to deal with these is just fucking fire everything at them. Because as soon as one launches, uh, you have literally a couple of seconds to bring it down before it's out in the atmosphere. If it gets out into the atmosphere, <sighs> game over, kid. Game over, man. Game over. And that kind of sucks. There's um, quite a few areas of this game where you get the instant game overs, no matter how far you are into the mission. Uh, that, that is a trend that continues throughout the strike games, which I really think is kind of unfair because some of the levels in the later ones get really bloody long. And to be fucked over with a, a game over is kind of savage. Now, it's true that this game isn't that long. Um, but yeah, I, I never liked the idea of, uh, the, the instant game overs for failure like that. It, it was, especially as a kid where I got frustrated very quickly. I didn't quite have the patience that I have now. I definitely don't have a lot of patience, but I've got more than I had. That guy was only armed by like a RPG guy, which was pretty weak source to be honest. Uh, I guess he wasn't a favourite of the madman. But then, having said that, he did get a couple of cheeky shots on it. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe he was a crack shot. Right. 
Let's destroy this. I definitely... You know, actually, these things are falling a lot easier than I remember. Uh, I thought they were definitely tougher than this. Kind of curious. Right. And what's... Anything going to spawn? No. Nope. Maybe not then. Maybe I'm I'm not remembering this game properly, which, well, I'm not that surprised, to be honest. My memory ain't what it used to be. No, sir. Uh, we could scoop that ammo up, I suppose. What we like? Nah, we right. We right. Um, he says, as we run out of rockets and fail big time. I think you can allow one scud to escape. Uh, not two. But you definitely allow one to escape. Really, you're protected by a bloody tower. A tower that's no longer in alert mode, which is nice. Alright. Oh, and there's some fuel there. Not bad. You know what? We will take you whilst we can. Nice. So, ah, two scuds next to each other. Well, we'll take it. Okay, not bad. Now, we definitely want more ammo before in getting... Yeah, we do, because we don't know what it's defended by. So, let's go grab some ammo. Uh, ooh. Oh, do we risk... Nah, we won't risk it for a biscuit. There's no point. There are old pilots, and there are bold pilots. But there are no old, bold pirates. Pirates? Pilots. Uh, as we will find out in a later on uh, game. Alright, yeah, the, the later on games had a lot of personality into them. They were great shooters. They really were. They were hard. I mean, Soviet Strike wasn't too bad. Uh, it had its moments, but... Um, ah, that's why that random-ass dude was there. Ha. Huh. Interesting. So, who's left? Scud Commanders. There's two Scud Commanders left. We only have to destroy one more, because... Um, I guess they don't mind if one Scud missile gets leaked. I mean, they only they only contain green goo. I mean, how bad can green goo be? Let's be honest here. But for the sake of being thorough, we're going to put them all down. Because that's what we do in this man's army. And thinking about it as well, I'm not sure there is actually a MIA on this mission. There's... Oh, really? You're just protected by some guy with a rifle? Ugh. I might as well kill him and put him out of his mercy. Uh, out of his misery. My words, man. My words are all over the place today. Have you noticed? Now, the next mission has uh, a level that's... Or the next level, I should say, has a mission very similar to this. Wow. Damn. I don't know why we're destroying these things so easy. Am I... Being stupid? Um, were they really that easy? And I guess I was just shit. Uh, it's possible. Oh shit! <clears throat> we might actually run out of fuel here, which was just straight up bad planning on my part, really. The fuel does burn through pretty fucking fast. I'll be honest, but it doesn't matter too much. Uh, right, so we're going to use the sea as much as we can because we have unlimited uh, fuel over the water, which I don't know why. There are ways of being shot down over the sea. And I remember when I was a kid, I did try to actually um, get destroyed over the sea and run out of fuel. You can do it. It's hard. You have to kind of like juggle your fuel supply. All right. Now, there we go. That's done. Oh, come on. There we go. That was probably as close as it gets, to be honest. Oof, warning, low armor. That was not good. And we destroyed a civilian village. Ah, oh, the shame. The shame of it all. Anyway, let's go drop these guys off and get our chopper patched up. Yeah, the quick winch. Damn, where the bloody hell is the quick winch? Um, I might rerun this mission and find the quick winch after we complete it. Just to show it off. Just to show where it is. The thing is, I know it's really 
quite obvious on this one. Um, at least I thought it was. I, I know in the third level, it's out the way, but I think, again, it's quite obvious. Uh, I think on the third, on the final mission, because there's only four missions in this game, they literally just give it to you, and it's like pretty much where you start off. So we've only got this one left. Prisoners of War Camp, armor 100. Rescue 14 POWs from the enemy uh, from the enemy prisoner of war camp. The M2 Bradley transport will accept the POWs at the nearby landing zone. It will indeed. It will indeed. Now, there's no alert zone round here anymore. Now there is an armor repair there if we need it, which we may do. This bit is a bit hectic, should we say? Right, let's waste you. Uh, let's waste you. Oof. And you. These towers do a deceivingly large amount of damage. Let's let this guy shoot me. Right. Yeah, they do like 30 to 40 damage. Which is pretty nuts when you think about it. Now, every one of these that we blow open... We're going to get a cutscene when we blow the first one open. Will ah, uh, oh, listen to that music, man. The Mega Drive had a very distinct sound. It had this really tangy, shreddy guitar sound. It really is unique. As I believe I said as well in another uh, video, possibly even back in my Desert Strike video, um, everyone says that the Mega, uh, the the Super Nintendo had a better sound uh, chip in it. I don't know. I. It sounded different. It was definitely a different sound. I don't know if it was better. I mean, they both had excellent music. It was just how they were used. Yeah, every one of these we blow open, we will get a tank turn up. There's the, that one. Just like, I love the way that one comes through the uh, fence there. I always thought that was pretty badass. Just fucking rolls in through. Uh, it's the little details that they throw into this game like that, which is cool. Uh, now, the Bradley was down here some somewhere. This is a very hard level to actually, well, mission be destroyed on. Well, I mean, you could say level, because there's so much bloody health and armor here. Ah, we've gone past the Bradley. I thought we had. Because you're constantly picking up, um, like, men. <laughs> yes, you're constantly picking up men, you dirty bastard. Um, there's so much, like, armor. It's very difficult to die. I think the only way we can really um, find the quick winch actually might be if we have a quick poke around before we end the mission off. So we're re-armoured and ready for war. We're low on fuel, um, but we sh where is there any fuel around here? I know there's fuel at the base. Yeah, there's loads of fuel here. That's fine. That is super fine. I did think as well that maybe the quick winch was in one of these, but I mean... Guess not, because it ain't here, Chief. All right. Anybody else? Nope. All right, let's open up this one, third one. Now, hear that. Hear that explosion. There's a tank. There he is. Heard the uh, fence pop. Oh. Oh, we're out. Hydras. Shit, son. That won't do. Yeah, because of this game, I became absolutely like uh, fascinated with the Apache helicopter. I collected books on it and all sorts. Um, and it got me really into aviation or military aviation when I was a kid. I was such a nerd uh, when it came to military aviation. I had books. I was building a scale model. Not scale model. That would be stupid. Uh, scale model. I was, I was collecting this magazine called Tornado. And it was all about the tornado. And, I mean, they've been retired now, I believe. But... Each uh, magazine part, you actually got a few pieces of this Airfix kind of style toy. And uh, I was slowly putting it together. But the trouble is, back then, uh, magazines, like, you had to go to the news agents to get. And sometimes they couldn't get certain episodes or certain parts. And there were a couple of issues, that's the word I was looking for, that I actually couldn't get of that magazine. So I never got all of the parts, which is a bit arse, but... There we go. And I, I had a big ring folder with all of the um, 
technical specs and everything. I think actually the magazine covered more than just the tornado, but I think the main focus of it was. I also got an SAS uh, magazine as well that I used to love collecting. Now, where's this guy? Yeah, I used to love collecting it. Uh, it's all about SAS missions and tactics. There he is. Fuck you. Uh, and that was a great book, uh, book, but it only got to episode or uh, issue six before they actually cancelled it due to lack of demand, which I was like, oh man, that was such bullshit. Because that was a really good, um, really good magazine. Now, I want to go over here because I'm sure the quick winch is over here. Ah, it's in this building, I think. It's definitely one of these. There it is. I knew this one was quite obvious. So, we've got the quick winch anyway. Now, I'm pretty sure there is no pilot on this level to actually save. Look at this. Armor repair. Oh, it's a civilian building. So, we'll get shouted at for destroying that. Uh, that has fuel in it. Ah, oh, bloody hell. If I'd looked at my map and thought about it for five minutes instead of fucking waffling on. Oh, hello. Right, okay, not bad. So, MIAs. Got four left. So we can pick up two more, and then we'll come back for the others. Any... Yeah, there's a Zeus there as well. We'll go wipe him out in a second, because fuck that guy. Hmm. Now, I think, really... Um, this game wasn't that good for chasing score, I don't think, because there's only a set amount of score you can get for each level, so it's one of those games where it's possible to max out your score uh, and if you're fairly adequate at this game that's not even that hard just destroy all of the enemies um, rescue all of the MIAs that kind of stuff so it is absolutely possible to max your score out I don't even know why there's a score involved in this game to be honest it seems a bit of a weird game to have it because it's uh, more of an objective based game which as we've said before was very unusual in the time there was like a mech warrior game like this uh, which I used to enjoy no it was Battletech I mean technically mech warrior is based on Battletech anyway but um, yeah I, I, I did try to play it it was kind of in the same vein as this I would say but it's bloody hard it really is hard Maybe we should stream Mega Drive games. Right, let's grab you. Just have a look at some of these legendary games and see if they're actually any good. Let's see if they've still held up. I mean, personally, I think the Strike series has held up wonderfully. Uh, I, uh, Jungle Strike's a bit rough. I know that one is a favourite of many people, Jungle Strike. It is rough, though. Ammo crates, fuel drums... There we go. Another clean, clean fucking map. Lovely. Right, let's get out of here. So, yeah, it it, it was um, it was the favourite, but it's definitely rough. There's some very uh, unfair difficulty spikes in that game, which are literally just there to fuck you over, so you have to redo the level uh, again. But it's I find it interesting with this game as well, the fact that there's only four missions, so it's a very short game. I mean, hour and a half, two hours, and, and you're done with this one. Once you know what you're doing, of course. But Jungle Strike? There was about 10 or 12 missions in, in Jungle Strike, and about the same in Urban Strike as well. They really got bigger. That's what she said. Oh, I had to say it. Right, anyway, guys. So, second mission done. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't think this game was going to take that long to do at all. Uh, I think we're going to have problems. Possibly. With... Let me just write down the password. With the next level. The next level uh, is, in my opinion, the hardest. Because the third, the the final mission is set up quite brutally, but once you know what you're doing, it's really not that hard. Uh, especially the fact on the final mission, there's so many hidden lives all over the place. I mean, just opening up buildings and you're finding lives left and right. Um, but it's a good one. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end it there. Thank you very much for watching. As always, till next time.